the difference between gypsum false sealing and POP false sealing. A false sealing is installed by suspending it beneath the main ceiling of a room of a building. False ceilings are fabricated into two materials, namely gypsum boards and POP, which is also known as plaster of Paris. Although both these materials are made with gypsum, which is a naturally occurring min mineral, they have different characteristics and properties. This video will help you to analyze the difference between gypsum board, false ceiling and POP false ceiling along with their advantages and disadvantages. Gypsum How are gypsum board manufactured and installed? Gypsum boards are manufactured in factories by mixing gypsum, water and few chemical additives. Then the gypsum slurry is sandwiched between two sheets of paper which is passed through rollers to compact the gypsum core and achieve the required thickness of the board. The prefabricated gypsum boards are ready to install at site. During installation of the false ceiling, a metal framework is suspended from the ceiling slab and the gypsum board are fixed to them. It is important to fix the gypsum board to the metal frame with good quality screws that do not rust. Advantages of gypsum boards Gypsum boards are light in weight, fire retardant and have a very good heat insulating properties. Gypsum ceilings can be installed very quickly. These ceilings produce less dust during installation. The gypsum boards come in a large sizes. Therefore, very few joints lines are created during installation of a, the false ceiling. A jointing compound is used to fill the joints between each gypsum board. Gypsum board ceiling give a smooth finish because the gypsum board are factory manufactured with a consistent size and thickness. Disadvantages of gypsum boards Gypsum board ceiling cannot be repaired. In case the ceiling gets damaged, it needs to be broken down and new gypsum board need to be installed. The gypsum boards may show cracks along the joint lines over a period of time. Another disadvantage is that gypsum boards may get damaged due to water seepage which may also result in fungal growth and warping. POP also known as plaster of Paris. How is POP manufactured and how are POP ceilings installed? When gypsum is subjected to heat, it gets semi-dehydrated and forms POP or plaster of Paris. This material is a very quick setting fine white powder. During installation of the POP ceiling, the POP powder is mixed with water on site and then applied on a chicken mesh which gives it a mechanical strength. A metal framework is suspended from the ceiling so that the POP boards get fixed onto it after the POP dries completely. Advantages of POP false ceiling POP ceiling are light in weight, fire retardant and have a very good heat insulating properties. POP is a very flexible material which can be molded into curved shapes when it is wet. When the POP hardens, it retains the curved shape. POP ceiling do not show cracks because the same material is used for filling all the joints. 
POP fault sealings are more cost effective than gypsum board sealings. POP fault sealings have a very smooth surface which enables good addition of paint colors on its surface. Disadvantages of POP fault sealing During installation, the POP fault sealings create a lot of mess and dirt at site which requires a lot of cleaning. POP fault sealings take a lot of time to dry. When POP sealings are installed, there is a lot of wastage of the raw material at site. If POP is not mixed with water in correct proportions, then the POP fault sealing may shrink or crack over a period of time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel to check out our new videos.